Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rocio and this is Reese's Rizzo's. And in today's video, I wanted to talk to y'all about sun care, especially when it comes to your beauty and skincare needs. I mentioned last month that I was gonna start trying out the Olay Regenerous Whip SPF 40 moisturizer. I don't know if y'all remember or not, but last year I raved about the Olay Red Jar with SPF 25 and so the fact that this had more sun protection, I was really excited but just kind of curious to see how it was going to work on my skin. So I've got a really great review for you guys today. I do want to mention that this video is sponsored by Olay but just like all of my reviews, the opinions are all mine. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed already. All you have to do is click on that big bright red subscribe button and then after clicking on the subscribe button, click on the bell because the bell is what's going to turn on your notifications and then that way you'll never miss another one of my videos. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, why is SPF even that important when it comes to your skincare routine? Y'all, it's very important. The sun is so harsh. I feel like as the years go by, it just gets even more harsh. Those harsh UVA and UVB rays are what really causes your skin to age faster. It's what causes those wrinkles. It's what causes those sunspots. And so the best protection that you can get from the sun is by applying SPF and the higher the SPF the better the protection that you're getting it's easy to be reminded to put on SPF whenever you're going to places like the beach or the lake or somewhere where you know you're gonna be exposed to the Sun for long periods of time but it's also easy to sort of forget to apply some SPF in your skincare routine when it comes to Sun protection on your face the problem is that when you're not at the beach or you're not at the lake or you're not thinking that you're exposed to the sun for a long period of time, you actually sort of are because you're exposed to the sun whether you're indoors or outdoors. So it's just important to see SPF as a form of self-care in your everyday skincare routine rather than an obstacle. Now for me personally, in the last month, month and a half now, I have been craving sun and fresh air just because being cooped up inside is not really that great for stress levels or for your emotional well-being. And so for me personally, I needed to just spend some time outdoors. And so anytime that I would go outside, I just make sure that I would be incorporating this moisturizer onto my skin to make sure that I'm just getting that extra protection from the sun. All right, y'all, so real quick review. I thought that with a higher SPF level that it was gonna feel heavy on my skin, that it was gonna leave my skin feeling greasy or cakey, and that actually wasn't the case. The Olay Regenerous with SPF 40 moisturizer left my skin feeling like it could breathe, and I think it's because it has this really nice creamy to liquid consistency that once you apply it onto your skin, it just blends really easily and it's just like absorbed right onto the skin. I like it because it reminds me of the red jar in which it leaves my skin moisturized but still a really nice matte and natural finish. I don't know y'all, I just love how soft and smooth it leaves my skin and the blendability like I was saying. So there are two ways that I've been using this moisturizer over the last month without makeup, all natural, and actually with makeup, blending it in with a foundation. So in the morning, I'll just wash my face like normal. I'll use my regular cleanser. I'll follow with the toner. Sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, I'll use a serum, but I always, always finish with the Olay Regenerous Whip SPF 40 moisturizer. And that way I know I'm covered when it comes to sun protection. That's whether I spend the day indoors or even if I go outside, if I'm going for my 30 minute pregnancy walks, or if I'm going outside to water my trees, I know that my skin is going to be protected from those harsh UVA and UVB rays from the sun. Now, if I decide that I want to put on some kind of makeup, whether it's even just to stay here in the house, or if I'm trying to go out somewhere, which I mean, my options are limited at this point. I've just been going to the doctor's office really. But even if I, like I said, want to put on some kind of makeup, then I like to blend my moisturizer with my foundation. I know that there are some foundations out there that already have SPF incorporated in it, but some of my favorites don't. So what I like to do is I like to take one pump of my moisturizer and mix that, blend that in really well with one pump of my foundation, and then I just apply it all over my skin, either with a beauty blender or with a foundation brush. I can go full glam if I want to, but for right now, I've just been adding on some bronzer, a little bit of blush, some mascara, a lip, and I'm done. Even that sounds like a lot, but I promise you it's not. Y'all have seen my like 10 minute, five minute makeup routines. I promise it's that easy when it comes to my makeup routines lately. But at the end of the day, I really think that it's about self-care when it comes to your skincare routine. I think that Olay 
really knocked it out of the park with this one. Y'all know that I'm a really big fan of using Olay products. It's sort of like ingrained in me because I've grown up seeing my mom using Olay skincare products. And like I mentioned in the last video, I love my mama's skin and I'm just trying to make sure that I keep my skincare routine in check so that my skin can be as soft and as beautiful as hers. So thank you to Olay once again for just letting me try out this moisturizer in the first place. I'll leave some information down in the description box below on where you can find it. Again, it's the Olay Regenerous Whip SPF 40 moisturizer. Not to be confused with the red jar that I mentioned earlier, this one is gonna give you more protection from the sun. So give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And let me know in a comment below if you have been spending more time outside now that we are finally able to enjoy the fresh outdoors after all this time. You can follow me on Instagram at Reese's Rizzles and that's basically it. I love y'all, un besito, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.